Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your June 2024 Tarot, an Oracle card reading. You have the card of freedom here, freedom and a new happiness. There may be something to this, but we will consult the tarot. That is the theme for the reading brought to you by the Sacred Destiny Oracle card deck. All right, what advice do you have for Pisces, please? What guidance does Pisces need for the best and highest good of all involved with Pisces? All right. Detailed Celtic cross style reading, and then we will follow things up with a couple of other oracle cards here. Current situation, the Five of Pentacles. Oh boy, <laughs> somebody's here for a reason. The immediate influence is the Three of Swords. You've got the Four of Cups in your subconscious, the Nine of Swords in the distant past, the Two of Wands in the more recent past, the Magician is coming towards you. You're represented here by the Six of Cups, the person you're attracting, I like this, is the Page of Wands. You've got the Nine of Wands in your hopes and fears, Nine of Pentacles in the outcome, the bottom of the deck here. My gosh, what is going on? You know, I have to take the Fool. There's something about it with the Magician being here that just seems relevant and important. And it's not because you had bad cards, okay? You have a nice energy as you move into the, the energy that's coming up. So what the cards are saying is things are going to keep getting better and better. But there's an ending that brings a new beginning that we must embrace. So that's why with the magician coming towards you, there was something really special. Something spoke to me about this. You know, the, the fool is zero, the card of pure potentiality. It represents your soul in this vision quest, in this life's journey. It represents new beginnings, a brand new, fresh, clean slate. But the magician represents your ability, literally, to make things with your mind. The magician is about magic with a K, all right? And so in, in when the cards were made, it's not stage magic, it's metaphysical. And so with this, I feel like you have a brand new beginning that brings in your heart's desire. It feels light, it feels easy, it feels like freedom, like we talked about. There's something here that's going to expand beautifully. But when the fool shows up too, it's a major transition. It's not just a little, you know, you want a, a free cup of coffee, okay? There's something about this big time. So if you're looking to start your own business, it's gonna be bank. Anything you do with money brings in money here. Your ideas turn to gold. So, so honor your own ideas. Honor your own voice in things. You have a voice in your own narrative, right? And so something with that magician energy, it's gonna bring a lot to the table. Now, if it's a relationship, somebody here may have a person from the past or return to love, but it also too, if it's not if it's not a return, it's somebody who makes you almost feel like a kid again. There's something about this page of wands, six of cups in terms of love that is truly delightful. It's mesmerized. It's like the first time you've ever been in love. And that love doesn't go anywhere. It is a love that grows and evolves, but boy, is it going to be a fun relationship. So if you've had some relationships that felt like torture, not this, this is like that freedom that we talked about. So... There's freedom and a new beginning. Have we said that lately? Because there is. There's something about this Ten of Swords that's like, yeehaw, let it happen. Because with the Three of Swords, Nine and Ten of Swords being in this reading, it's important. Let go or be dragged. Surrender to win. Because there's something about it, like trying to keep it on something in your life on life support. There's no point in doing it. Okay, if it's a job that you know is toast, if it's a relationship that's cooked, if it's a friendship or even moving to a certain area or moving out of an area where you say this has gotten too crazily expensive. You know, the apartment rent across the in the area where I live is more than my mortgage significantly. Like I look at what they're renting apartments, one bedroom part, apartments for and I go, oh my gosh. I mean, it's crazy. And so I feel like somebody here has a real turning point. And it's all with the acknowledgement that there is one, though, that there's something needed because the Three of Pentacles will bring in your people. It brings in collaboration. So when places come available, they need people. They can't, you know, they can't sustain a business. So if it is moving somewhere new, they can't sustain a business unless they have buyers, unless they have customers, unless they have tenants, whatever it is. But it's also too reciprocal. So it's not like you feel like you're being gouged. 
And, and with the Three of Pentacles in terms of work as well, you have money. So with the Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, it brings in more money. It brings in more stability. But that Ace of Cups is, I feel like, a priority in this particular lineup of cards because it brings you happiness and joy. So the Fool is an energy of a new beginning, a transition, victory, success. It's like ready to launch, all right? When the Fool shows up, there's nothing holding you back. You've got every single thing you need. And even if it's something that you've always dreamed about doing, even if you're visiting a place you've always dreamed of, if you've had some kind of setback with a, planning a trip where you say, I'm going to have to wait a year because of you know financial reasons or whatever, I do feel like you're going to make it there, those of you that are wondering about that. Now, with a relationship, like I said, you got one here coming in that is going to be like nothing you've ever experienced before. So if you're single, you get ready because that may become your primary focus. It's going to be hard not to. And does this person think about you? Of course they do. Their heart is like growing 10 sizes too big. Is that from the Grinch? It is. I, it's something like that though. But with this, I definitely feel like it's reciprocal. It's magical. It's beautiful. And it's right on time. So let's deal with the, this nastiness, shall we? So there's something here about resisting change. The five of pentacles is moving forward with change, but they're not exactly happy, joyous, free, skipping along. They're kind of trudging along. They're moving along and saying, okay, we're going to have to go forward here. And I said have to, not we get to go forward. Now we could change that in our daily lives. We could say, well, I get to get a new washer because mine broke. I get to get a brand new appliance. Isn't this great? Right? And so, but then you got to feel it. Otherwise, it's like if we keep dreading things and sort of, you know, lingering in them, we attract more of it. Now that Three of Swords, I feel in this reading is something about resisting change. Now it could be too bittersweet if it is a bit of betrayal, like somebody's moving on due to something challenging that happened, like we were talking about. Uh, an area that you thought you'd never want to leave has become too expensive or something like that, where you say this is just not working anymore the way that it used to, or even a job where things have changed. I mean, I've had a multitude of different bosses and there were times it was horrible and there were times it was fantastic. And what I learned through all of it is I just need to be even. I just need to be level and it won't really bother me anyway. Either way, it's the unconditional way of living, really, and saying this person doesn't affect me that, that much one way or another. So I'm not swinging wildly like an emotional pendulum. So with this, I do feel like you have a change and it is about embracing that change. Now, the Four of Cups in your subconscious isn't really my favorite card to have here, so we'll address it. There's something here about not wanting to expand too quickly or not liking the options. And, and you know, he's a bit pouty, right? He's like, I don't want that cup. I want a different cup. And it's like, well, that's the cup you've got. Take it. You know what I mean? And so we have to be careful with that because sometimes we'll start getting options and people around you might start putting their two cents in like, well, why don't you just take that one? And you go, because it's not the right cup. I don't want that one. You know, that sort of thing. And it's this, all right? So we got to see a big, beautiful, decorative cup. We got to see this cup coming in. And it's like, well, I, I wouldn't resist this cup. Look at the scale of it. I mean, it's ornate. It's beautiful. It's big. It's overflowing. It's more. And there's always more available. There's no lack in this universe. There's enough cars. There's enough people. There's enough jobs right? There's enough for everyone here. We just have to know that that's the truth. And so even too, I've some people lately have been commenting if you're retired. Well, some of this too is about finding your way, all right? Finding things that, that you're interested in and not giving up. He's also out in nature. So for someone that may be just a little push saying, hey, go outside, meditate, listen to the birds, take a walk, mix it up a little bit, enjoy your surroundings, no matter where you are, find the good in where you are, and more will be given. To those who have, more will be given. So this Nine of Swords, I like this in the past. This is where the reading starts to change, by the way. You have three nines here. Nines are completion cards. They're realizations, but they're also attainments. So someone here, I feel like, came to a realization that brought in a turning point for you, Pisces. There's a new beginning coming out of this. And so it brings in clarity, too. So all this black in the background, that can be disillusionment. It can also be a card of contrast and saying there's negative experiences because the universe keeps throwing little objects at us until we pay attention. 
first a little stone, then perhaps a brick, then perhaps the brick wall. When we say, okay, I surrender, I'm going to do it your way, but I know that that's going to lead me to the path of my most joy and I'll just let it go and let it flow. So if there was something confounding you, especially too, if it was someone else's choices, that's how I get this, like watching other people and almost borrowing trouble, which we do because we love people. It's part of our own capacity to love, isn't it? Now, if again, those of you who are retired, if it is this also saying this is not the retirement I envisioned, I do feel like somebody may have an opportunity to do a little side hustle. And I feel like that is not only going to bring in a feeling of camaraderie and kinship, but a little extra money, which is always nice. So the two of wands here, you have a choice. You stand at a crossroads here. But with this, it's not like the two of swords where it's cro like literally a crossed couple of swords and there's no moving forward. You have two major arcana. We've got all the elements represented. And so with this two of wands energy, it's like she's the card of the visionaries ready to take that leap of faith. This is where your life expands. He also too, just to be clear, has the garden of the magician. You have a little bit of it here and here it's flourishing. So if you are moving, I feel like that's going to have you flourishing is what they're saying. It's moving to a new place that's going to bring a lot of ease to your mind, to your surroundings. So even if you're retiring and moving, I feel like you're on the right track. So with the magician, you've also too got that, that infinity symbol, which is very important in the cards because it, sig it symbolizes new doors opening. It's a card of self-awareness that you create through your own life. So when you see this, you know that you're not a product of your environment. Your environment is a product of you of your inner workings, of your inner dialogue, even your inner monologue. It all comes out around you. So after that leap of faith that you take with the full energy, this is where you have every single thing you need to bring in stability, to bring in more. It's more coming in. And so this makes dreams come true. It's your own life, your own realities, making things happen in your life. That's what this is, bringing more to the table. So if it's a relationship, I do see it as being passionate, as being truthful, as being one of transparency, but also a lot of fun like we talked about. So the Six of Cups sure lightens the game, doesn't it? The Six of Cups energy is really an energy of finding a partnership, finding someone who helps you out, finding somebody who loves you unconditionally. And the gold in this energy in the background here, it's a village, but what it represents is warmth. It represents being in a situation, whatever it is that you're asking about, that feels warm, that feels right to you. It feels right on time too. And so it's one of the fairy tale cards of the deck. So when you have this, no, this is where like the next leg of the journey gets a whole lot easier, where the things that you really hope are going to happen to happen. This is a yes. Again, these are yes cards. So the page of wands, I absolutely love. This is a truly inspiring and exhilarating energy. It's a great, in, in a person, it's a great person to be around. This is one who will have you laughing until your sides hurt, who will have you feeling like anything can happen in life and it's anything good. There's no downside to this. So if it's a job too, here's the offer. And here's the offer too that really wake, wakes your career back up. If it's been on sort of like, freeze on pause on some like this just isn't bright it's drear it's boring here's where things become fun again and so this nine of wands and the hopes and fears the wounded warrior I feel like you're trying to leave this energy behind you just aren't interested in having more of it and with the nine of pentacles you want this nine of pentacles is abundance it's money coming in if you are moving you're going to feel like it's your own personal paradise in a job situation, you're going to have respect, you're going to have companionship, great coworkers, really being in a place too where you feel like you're honored. This woman, she lives in a small paradise, yes, but she's also like very well respected and has a lot of people, places, people coming towards her, companions coming towards her. There's really nothing off limits in that kind of energy. She is a single lady card, but I still feel like you have love coming in. So if you're currently single, I'd say that's not going to last for long. You have the card of the dragonfly from the Fortune Oracle. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection with spirit. So meditate, quiet that mind down, and look around, see birds in the sky, listen to them chirp, the squirrels running and placing, playing with one another. This is from the uh, Whispers of Love. Honest, honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. So I said before, I feel like a love relationship, love is sneaking up on you if it's not here already. 
Good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.